question is, what language do you speak? Anishinaabe Moen. Ojibwe. I love the uh, the I love the art behind you too. I think that's so beautiful. But thank you for asking. Actually, when I'm done here, I have to teach Ojibwe. Um, I have to teach teach. I also teach Ojibwe classes. So when I'm done here, I have to go teach Ojibwe. I'm teaching children how to speak Ojibwe, which is very important work that you're doing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. The language is important because the language comes from the land. And so it, the whole world view of the language is connected to the land and, and the spirit of the land. And so, for example, our word for kinemage, school, actually means the earth teaching us. That's what the word kinemage means for school. And so when I hear the word school in our language, what I'm hearing is a whole different world view about what we're what we're being taught or what we should be learning you know so it's it's uh it, it, it's really beautiful so if you speak a different language then hang on to it diversity is important being different is a, is important too when you look at a forest every there's so many different things and they all give everything to everything and that's what makes it so rich so protect your di diversity protect your culture your history your songs your dances you know, keep, and the best way to protect them is to do them. That's all. You know, just do them. And it, it'll make the world, it makes the world rich. Okay, we do have a question in the chat. We have two questions in the chat. The first one. Okay, great. Someone wants to know what your favorite song is out of all the ones you have written. Hmm. I'm going to say it's a song called Kindness. And it's it's called Kindness. And if you heard it, you would know why. Okay, I'll show and that so next that's... week too. I'll show that awesome. one next week. I love it. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Did you want to say more about it? No, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just kind of search, search that up and you'll you'll know why. Okay, so kids, next week you have to remember to remind me what we were going to look at. Yes, the kindness song. And what was the other thing? The, the, the you were chosen to be here. Is that what I said I'd show you too? I think yeah, so. yeah. Okay. okay, so someone get on remembering because I'll forget next week. Um, then we had a couple comments <laughs> about one of our upstanders speak Spanish on top of French and English too, though, I know. Uh, yeah, Kay also wow. says that she speaks three languages. Um, wow. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Um, okay, another question. What style of art do you like to use? Um, I, I don't know. I'm still learning about art. So what really, what really is neat is that um, you never stop learning with art. And so it's something that just keeps growing and growing. And so I really don't know um, what style or anything like that. I just start creating and and I hope for the best. Um, it's really weird because I can't even talk about art, you know, through a, a scholarly um, narrative, you know, through a, like, I don't understand that doctrine of art. You know, I can't explain it. Um, but at the same time, I can feel it when I'm doing it. And I think that's, that's the, the main thing is that you just feel it. You just feel it and you just do it. You do what you feel and you're trying to get feelings expressed out. And it's just, uh, that's the only, that's, and that's pretty much all I can say about art. <laughs> you know, it's just feel it and just create beautiful. And then I wanted to add to that, Isaac, I think that if you knew, I sometimes think learning too much about a topic kind of funnels you into only being able to do things a certain way. So I think it's probably your gift is that it just does come from your heart. And that's why it's so beautiful. Because it's not really any style. It's just your truth. Yeah, I noticed that in with Anishinaabe 
Hodson, which how we think, everything starts from, say, art, and then it just kind of branches off into the universe. And then, so art then becomes everything in the universe. And then, but if you look at art through a scholarly point of view or narrative, you actually zero down and you, you kind of pinpoint, which is also really cool. But then, uh, but like you said, but then you're stuck at the end of what you're trying to study and that's your, that's what's in your toolbox. So really be open-minded and free and just create. And sometimes it's best not to know anything. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. You'll, you'll develop your you'll develop your skill over time. 